Now, I've seen properties where it was listed in no open houses and, and the whole court confirmation gets delayed three and four months and they can't access the property. And clearly, the reason why is the listing agent is restricting access typically when they're doubling the property. The more people who get in the property, the higher price it's going to get. So you want to make as much access as possible when you list the property. The commission to the cooperative agents listed below normal. Now, I understand we all want to make a profit. And in Los Angeles County, uh, listing agents are limited to 5% commission on houses and 10% on vacant land. So the 5% of houses is most commonly split two and a half, two and a half. Some listing agents feel like they have control and the property is going to sell to somebody. So they'll raise their commission to three or three and a half percent and offer two or one half or 1% to the buyer's agent. It's a mistake. You're going to get less attention on the property. It hurts the estate in the long run. And then a savvy uh, agent will bring a buyer to the confirmation process, and there they'll get more of the normal uh, more of the commission, a little more detailed than this video. But again, to limit the commissions below the market, uh, max, the, the market normal is only going to cause a lower sales price for the estate in the long run. It sounds great. You know, you can put the property in the MLS for a little bit of money. But buyers see those as discounts. And just like a buyer won't pay full retail of a Tiffany watch at a non-Tiffany store, maybe if you're just selling it on the corner someplace, they're going to want a discount on that price. When you list the property with a discount broker, uh, buyers are looking to pocket the discount themselves. They don't want to give the discount to the seller. They want that money. And so the, the numbers over time show that listing with a discount brokerage not only does not get a discount in negotiations, but oftentimes the discount brokers don't advertise the property through syndication to get the widest variety possible to get the best possible price. It's great to have a relationship with a lender. It's great to have buyers qualify with a lender that you know and trust to guarantee that they're going to close at least as much as possible. But it violates MLS guidelines and uh, RESPA guidelines uh, to force somebody to use any lender. More importantly, uh, you, can you can encourage it. You can tell them that you don't trust their lender and want the your lender to also talk to them. And I think that's a better sales approach than requiring a buyer to have the credit run and all their income provided to a uh, foreign lender they may not want to do business with. That's not to say it doesn't happen. It works sometimes. But again, we're not maximizing our buying opportunity there. We're just maximizing our relationship with our lender. When a listing agent puts in as is in the listing. Now, the truth is that California real estate, baked into our standard contract, the property is as is. I mean, unless you're promising to make renovations, it's always as is. And I see so often, and I have had attorneys you know, encourage me to put in the listing, and I'll do it if they require it, as is, like five or six times. It doesn't change the status of the property. But more importantly, you still are obligated to disclose anything that you know. And so if you have reports, best to post them in the MLS if you know uh, information about the status of the property. But too often, uh, there are, and there will be mandatory reports. You have to do a retrofit report at the end. You have to do certain reports. You might as well get them done and disclose those to buyers when it's possible. So there's no reason to hide information that you're going to be required eventually to disclose.